Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Techie Code Buddy. I hope you all are doing extremely well, and your Capgemini preparation is also going well. Well, guys, you know that your Capgemini exam is approaching, and you don't have uh, so much time. So in this video, I will be guiding you regarding the same that on which topic you have to be more focused on, and what are the less important topics, so that you can save your time and you can use utilize that time for the more important topic. I got a PDF from a college placement cell. In that PDF, all the things are clearly written that this this topic contains how much weightage and what are the topics you need to prepare from from that particular subject. So I will be showing you that PDF right in this video only so without wasting our time let's get started with the video but if you are to this channel or have not subscribed this channel till now then do consider subscribing this channel as this channel is really going to be very helpful for you during your placement exam you can see there are multiple playlists for interview preparation for cognitive preparation for capgemini preparation i have already three videos there cheat sheets for exchanger and exchanger there are 80 videos for exchanger only right so if you are preparing for exchange, then the channel is going to be really helpful for you. You can see the results from the community section that students send me messages that thank you so much. The sorry questions please repeat over it. Today, my exam was or that wala video like. Uh, there is a particular video and the question exactly gets repeated right and you can see here uh, some more testimonials are there from the student itself so you can have a look itself so uh, okay i'm moving on to the video all right so if you want to know more about the complete slavers and so so directly go into this feed uh this playlist capgemini 2025 right so in this uh in this video i have shown you how to prepare what is the slavers what is the detailed slavers right this is the actual mail that i got from uh capgemini I, one of my subscribers sent me right and if you see uh, here are technical assessment see one hour plus of video right so technical assessment question this video have and cloud and network security is the common part for cognizant for exchanger for capgemini so i have prepared a cheat sheet and i'm getting the comments from exchanger people that this cheat sheet is really very helpful for you because the questions are repeating from that cheat sheet only right so you can have a look and all this stuff is free only don't worry about it okay let's go over uh let's go over, over to the pdf that i got from the college i have hided the name of the college uh so you can see that this is the this is the same pattern that was for 2024 batch now the same pattern will be applied for 2025 batch as well so if we see so there are programming fundamentals through pseudo codes right so there will be pseudo codes and the weightage in percentage will be 30 to 40 percent from the 100 percent 30 to 40 percent pseudo codes will come right so you have to be more focused towards pseudo codes right and for pseudo codes I have multiple videos on pseudo codes because Exchanger also conducts pseudo codes, but the pattern is quite difficult, uh, quite different. Sorry, not difficult. It's quite different. So I will be uh, taking some videos as well uh, dedicated to pseudo codes, but you can refer those videos as well because the main thing they ask is bitwise operators, operators, if else, etc., and some of the DSA based concepts as well. So don't worry, I will get some videos for you. All right. So if we see that from here, DBMS and operating system, because your core branch subjects will come. If you are from uh, EEE branch or if you are from EC branch, so your core subjects will come. If you are from CSIT, so the question, uh, the questions will be come from programming, from DBMS, from SQL, operating system, networking, cloud and fundamentals, etc. I hope you got it. So DBMS and operating system combinedly has the weightage of 10 to 15 percent, right? And data structures and algorithm again are very important and it contains approximately 25 percent weightage, right? So uh, we can see that after pseudo codes, data structure is really very important, right? And cloud fundamentals contains 10 percent of weightage and computer network contains 10 percent of weightage. Now, from where you can prepare the so pseudo codes on my channel, and I will be bringing more and more videos as well. Data structures and algorithm, DBMS operating system, all the uh, questions in combined form I will cover in uh, videos, upcoming videos, right? So if you want upcoming videos, just let me know in the comment section, then only I will make. Because until and unless uh, I'm not getting the feedback whether this is helpful or not, so why I will create, right? So 
just if you want just let me know in the comment section yes we want the complete playlist so i will start as i did for exchange right and cloud and network fundamentals as this has the 10 10 10 percent weighted so i have already provided your cheat sheet and the cheat sheets are really going to be helpful for you just have a look i will pin the comment of the cheat sheet link right so you can check from there so this part is done like we have done with this part and for this part like combinedly i will be bringing mcq's questions for capgemini right very soon i will be bringing and for pseudo course you can refer my channel i will uh come with more and more number of questions okay so let's move forward if we see just a minute let me raise it okay So now if we see the programming fundamentals, so pseudo course, arithmetic operator, conditional statements, I have already told you now, arithmetic operators, conditional statement, bitwise operators, etc. Looping constructs, arrays, recursive base cases, functions, bitwise operator, all these things are important for programming fundamentals because the pseudo course will be based on these topics only. Right. The main focus will be on bitwise operators and looping concepts and sometimes recursive uh, questions as well. Okay. So here uh, we can see that here are some important tips or practice problems. So here the main agenda is to test applicants programming logical skills, not their syntax skills. So don't get bogged down by syntax errors. So if, we are, uh, if there are some syntax errors, so don't think like it, it will give some random output or it will give some error. No. The thing is, they are just want to uh, familiar with the logical skills, how your logical skills are. Right. The next thing is practice pseudo codes with an emphasis on data structure. So, yes, uh, from pseudo codes, like 10 to 15 percent part will be based on data structure part as well. Right. Because Capgemini anyhow wants to test your BSA skills. Right. So, program, uh, sorry, practice programs that involve pointer arithmetic and bitwise operations in C. Yes, bitwise operation is really very important. So, you have to be prepared with it. Now, in addition to that, code descriptive questions on general languages uh, like specific to C, C++ and Java. So, as we all know that I think Python is uh, not permitted in Capgemini. Right. So, C and C++ and Java, object-oriented programming concept you should know. Key area of focus, bitwise operator, conditional statement, looping constructor, recursive base cases, and uh, basic DSA as well. Because I saw the questions from basic DSA, so I will be adding this basic DSA as well, right? Okay, so let's move forward. Just a minute. Uh -oh. Okay, now let's come here and if we talk about database management system, so DBMS concept, first of all, you have to understand database, what is database, database architecture, types of database model, hierarchical network, relational, etc. Relational database management system, under it, you have to be prepared with fundamentals of relational database management system, entities, attributes, relationships, ER diagram, mapping ER diagrams to tables, and the questions will become in MCQ forms only, but maybe there is some table you have to identify what is the primary key what is the foreign key right this type of questions they can ask you and sql questions introduction to sql writing basic sql queries data retrieval using select filtering data see i will be providing you the cheat sheet for sql database and for operating system as well very soon within just i think uh, within two days, I will give you all the cheat sheets, but I, I, uh, I want comments in my comment section. Yes, you want, really you want, then only I will make, because it takes so much of time, right? So, just if you want to uh, have all the cheat sheets, so just let me know in the comment, yes, you want videos, you want cheat sheets, because the comments are necessary, so that I can get the feedback. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Normalization is really very important part. Normal forms, 1NF, 2NF, 3NF, BSNF. So all these are important. And under SQL, joins are important, right? So inner join, outer join, left join, right join, etc. Don't worry about it. I will provide you SQL handwritten notes. I have very good handwritten notes, right? And uh, cheat sheet, I'm working on it. So very soon, I will be providing you all the things. And I will make a complete roadmap of seven days of preparation like how you can proceed with the preparation because after seven days you have the gymnasium exam starting right maybe in your college after 10 days after 12 days but in some colleges like uh, uh, 
in 60% colleges, exam is after seven days. So I will provide you the complete roadmap of seven days of preparation, how you should put your efforts. All right. So here are some key focus of area, data models, GBMS architecture and components, SQL queries, ER diagrams, normal forms, joins, keys, constants, etc. You can have a look, right? Then see, you can directly take the screenshot of it because I can't share this file. Uh, it's confidential. Uh, I can't share openly. You can take this screenshot. Okay, so operating system, introduction to operating system. Under it, types of operating system, including branch operating system, time sharing, distributed, real-time, embedded system, etc. Architecture of operating system, including kernel, shell, system, calls, and user interface, process management, process lifecycle, context switching, process state, thread, etc. So if you want a cheat sheet of operating system as well, just let me know in the comment section. Yes, we want. I will make the cheat sheet as soon as possible. So key areas of focus, process scheduling, deadlock, threads, virtual management, disk scheduling, multi-threaded programming. These are the key areas of focus. All right. So let's come on to here and data structures and algorithm. So if we talk about area and district, it is the... Uh, like very, very, very important topic. So understanding the difference between static and dynamic arrays, memory allocation, resizing arrays, working with 2D and 3 dimensional array, accessing elements, understanding their storage in memory, like all the basic operations of array and strings you have to cover. What are the static array? What are the dynamic array? You should know. And what are the some string manipulation techniques, searching and uh, shorting techniques in arrays? You should, uh, you should be aware of this, right? Now, recursive and backtracking. So, it's again a very important topic, and some are the very famous problem like Fibonacci series, factorial problem, Tower of Hanoi, etc. These are the uh, famous recursive problem. So, you have to be prepared with this. And in backtracking, if we come, so n problem is there, and uh, retina maze like that, uh, there is a problem. So, you have to be prepared with those. Right now, linked list, you have to be prepared with the basic operations and how all the things works in English, what are the advantages, disadvantages, same for trees, for shorting and searching algorithms, queues and stacks, graphs, etc. Now, again, key areas of focus. So, applications of data structures, what are the scenario-based problems? Like, there will be a scenario. You have to identify which data structure can efficiently solve this particular problem. Right. So these two types of problems they can ask to you. Now, basic operations for data structure, they can ask like, and arrays, uh, how many operations are possible to perform on array, like what type of operation, insertion, deletion, searching, sorting, like these, right? Array manipulation techniques, base case identification, string searching algorithm, backtracking, problem solving, etc., etc. Now we talked about cloud fundamentals. So although I have already provided a cheat sheet, after seeing all the flavors, right? Like what type of questions they are asking and what are the topics they have given to be prepared. So I have bunch of all the things. So let me uh, show you the cheat sheet of that. Just a minute. Let me pause the video. See, this is the PDF that I have provided for free. These are the important topics for network and cloud security or we can be cloud and network security, right? So these are 10 areas of focus. So I have provided what is uh, networking and what is the use case or what is the definition types of it, right? So this is kind of uh, introduction in starting. Then if we come on to the main topics, so uh, let me show you. Just a minute, let me show you. So these are the network topologies. So in detail, what is the structure? What is the advantage? What is the disadvantage? How we can make so? What is the use case of it? And a particular example re uh, related to real world analogy. Star topology, same, right? So this is uh, complete about uh, network topology. Then there is a diagram of it. Now, OSE model, clearly I have explained, right? You can see, have a look. So. Now, this protocol works on which layer and how it works, all the things, because many of the questions will come from here, like HTTP protocol works on which layer and what is the working of it, right? So all these things I have uh, linked here. And if we see, this is a complete TCP IP model, complete OSI model, etc. So all the things are covered here only, right? So let's back onto the PDF. So uh, you don't need to worry about cloud and fundamentals we have already provided. and. I'm working on the rest of as well. 
Okay, so if we talk about computer networks, again, I have already covered all the things. Okay, so yes, we have done with the slavers. So I think you now have the idea that on this topics you have to be prepared. Mainly you have to be prepared with the programming skills, your logical skills, right? So do more focus on pseudo codes and then um, data structure based problem. And for coding as well, I will provide you the complete cheat sheet of previously asked questions in Capgemini, right? So I got the GitHub repository for the same. So I will share that uh, with the help of this video because I need to first check whether it is important or whether it is worth uh, it to share or not. So I will first analyze because just some hours ago I got from somewhere. Okay, I will share it. And if you guys really want to, this stuff for free and you can have a look on my channel, the channel is really going to be helpful for you. Anyways, let's meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.